Welcome to State of Tech. So let's say that you decided to switch from an iPhone device to an Android device or even a Windows phone. What you'll want to do before switching over to your device is to make sure that your text messages will come through to your new device. Now with Apple and iMessage, they lock down your phone number to the messaging service iMessage and FaceTime. And if you don't deregister those, they're going to be stuck to iMessage. And when you get your new device, you might have intermittency with your new text messages coming through to your device. So what you're going to want to do is if you still have your iPhone, there's a simple way of doing this. All you need to do is quickly hop into the settings of your device. And then once you're in the settings app, you're actually going to come down into your iMessage messages down here. So now that we're here, we're going to tick off iMessage. So just tap that shuts it off. And then we're going to hop over now into the FaceTime in our settings and also shut off FaceTime. So once you've done that, you're practically done. You can give it a little bit of time, usually about an hour or so is what I would say. Give it a little bit of time to deregister. Um, this should give you plenty of time to head down to your carrier store and get your new phone. Or if you already have your phone on hand, there is another way of doing it to ensure that iMessage and FaceTime are deregistered immediately. And this method will also work if you've happened to have gotten rid of your iPhone and forgot to do this before getting your new device. So what you're going to want to do is from any sort of device, say whether it be your computer or even your new phone, you're just going to want to hop into say your Google app or whatever web search service you like to use and go ahead and do a quick search for deregister iMessage. Now once you're there, Apple has provided a nice little service up here at the top, deregister iMessage. This will take you to Apple's website and at the top of the screen, they're going to show you the method that we just went through. So if you still have your iPhone, just go shut off iMessage and FaceTime in the settings and that should work. But if you don't have your device, what you're going to want to do is enter in your current phone number. And what this will do is once you've entered in your phone number, we'll send you a confirmation code that you're going to then enter in and it's going to deregister your device altogether. So I've sent that in. We're going to get our code. And you're going to notice up here at the top of the screen, I'm going to get a message and it's going to give me my confirmation code. Now, once I've got that code, what I'm going to do is enter it here into the box right here on the screen. So once I've done that, I'll tap submit and you'll notice now being that I still am on my iPhone, it's also signed me out of iCloud. So it needs me to actually enter in my Apple ID to verify this in the settings to sign me out of iCloud altogether. And you'll also notice behind that, we have this message saying iMessage. You will no longer receive iMessages to my phone number. So that's a great way of doing this if you happen to have already gotten rid of your device and you're now on your new device and you're not receiving messages. Now, what I would also recommend is that when someone sends you a text message, say they're on an iPhone and you were previously using iMessage and they're trying to text you, they might have a couple of errors and you might want to start just a new threaded conversation. I've had that happen between say me and my wife when I switched to an Android phone. She had to try and send me a couple of messages and they would fail just because her iPhone was stuck thinking that it was still sending an iMessage when in fact it should have been sending a text message. So if that happens, just have them try and start a new thread with you, a new conversation that should clear things up. So thanks for checking out this video. And if you like more videos like this, be sure to subscribe to State of Tech and we'll see you in the next video.